And I think the emotions you're talking about are more the feeling of those emotions. Right. So and and so if you're around somebody, it, it you can feel that they're sad, you can feel that they're angry, and it's that 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 you're emoting that you're projecting towards others. Right, and you can instantly change <laughs> by broadcasting a different emotion. You can then the transmitter and receiver of the other person, their brain will pick up your energy, and their broadcast can shift. It's fascinating. Um, one of the things that I've, that I've practiced regularly is, you know how you walk into a room and you can feel heavy, dense energy or you feel light? Have you ever, you ever walk into a room of people and you, can, you kind of feel the tone of the energy in the room? Well, if you're consciously aware of that tone, you can consciously broadcast a different frequency and change the whole tone of the room. Very interesting. So we actually have the ability, we actually create everything in our lives. The minute we realize that we are 100% responsible for everything that we create in our lives, then we can realize, too, that we can change the reality of our lives. And um, moment to moment, it's, it's, it's really a fun thing to try to do. Um, it, it takes a little time and a little practice, but it's really fun to try, to try and do those things. And I think the idea of that we're responsible for 100% of what we experience in our life is is a difficult concept for many people to to buy into because we believe that things happen to us. You know, we have a bad boss, or we got this disease, or um, you know that that we're a victim of the circumstances or the events or the people around us. So, how do you address? Uh, and, and help people understand that they are not victims, but what they can do to affect the circumstances that they're in. Um, 